tita in life, I've come to realize that nothing in life is perfect. And yes, madami akong regrets sa buhay. And most of these regrets, unfortunately, come in the form of fashion purchases. Now, when I was in my 20s, that was the time when I started earning money and started investing in all of these designer items. And I've never really had my own money to spend on fashion. So I always grew up doing ukay ukay or borrowing clothes from my sisters and like repurposing them. And when I finally started to earn my own money, I took it as an opportunity to splurge on fashion pieces. Because I'm a fashion blogger, it gave me even more excuse to keep doing it. So I have had my fair share of regrettable outfits and regrettable fashion purchases, but now that I'm a tita, it's boiled down to my worst, or not exactly worst, but the things that I regret buying, the designer items that I really regret buying, I wish I just saved my money on, maybe to buy groceries or to pay for my electricity bill. Tita na talaga tayo ngayon. If you guys want to see what these items are, then please do keep on watching. Okay, so... Oh. This video is very hard for me to do because it's hard for me to admit to my babies that I've invested so much money on and so much work on na hindi ko pala sila mahal. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. Okay, let's start. My first one is this Loewe elephant bag. And if you guys follow me anywhere, then you'll know that I absolutely love, love, love elephants ever since I went to Chiang Mai and I will put a link up here. So you guys can see that video. I am in love with elephants. I think they are such beautiful creatures. And ever since I went to that sanctuary where they rescue tortured elephants, I just have been obsessed with collecting everything elephants because I love them so much. And one of the things that I really wanted to buy was this Loewe elephant bag. And I searched high and low for it. I was in Malaysia when I discovered that this bag existed. And I called my mom who was in Korea or Hong Kong at that time to beg her to find one for me. So she did and I bought it without even seeing it in real life and I love it, it's beautiful, it's brown leather, you can wear it anywhere. But the thing is, I regret buying it because even my phone won't fit inside this bag, unfortunately. I've only used it maybe like two, three, four times since I got it tops and it is a very, very pricey bag. I'm not gonna go into detail about how much it is, but it's pricey. And wala, as in, wala siyang, wala kasha. I will show you. Wait, just you wait. So this is how I store my bags. I have silica gel inside because I live in a very humid place and then I store the dust bag inside and I even have this little plastic thing tissue to keep the nose intact and I'm gonna show you exactly how much will fit in this bag. What items do I have here? Okay. I have this body butter. That's it. <laughs> That's it, Paul. It's <laughs> bag. Let's see. Can I borrow your phone? Okay, I'm gonna borrow Shai's phone. Is this her phone? <laughs> it won't even close. Like, even if I put it diagonally, it, it won't fit. It won't fit at all. So, unfortunately, as pretty as this bag is, it is a regret of mine because I was just so obsessed with elephants that I didn't think of all the practicality in my life. It's not practical, it's just pretty. I just came to accept that I bought it and it became a decorative piece in my life. It's not practical and I really wish that I did not purchase this, unfortunately. I'm so sorry, Ellie. You know I love you. Okay, moving on to my next regret. This is still a bag purchase. And again, I feel so bad to admit that I regret buying this because it is from one of my absolute favorite brands. And if you guys follow me everywhere, then you'll know that if there's one brand that I absolutely love, it is Chanel. And if you know Chanel, then you'll know na masakit siya to buy Chanel. It's really, really painful. And it takes a lot of willpower to swipe your card. <laughs> it takes a lot of, parang you should really know or alam mo talaga na you like this bag or you've been dreaming about this bag for a long time because masakit talaga siya to buy. And this one I bought on a whim. I was actually peer pressured to buy this Chanel bag. I was with my vlogger besties, the trio, and these girls buy bags like snap of a finger, new bag, new shoe, new bag, new shoe. And I'm not like that. So when I was with them, I don't know, I guess I inspire ako or na peer pressure ako to buy this bag on the spot. When I saw it, it is cute. It's a very beautiful bag. It's a camera bag from Chanel. I love it. The design is absolutely adorable. And the thing is, it's not a very practical bag. It's small. The sling, I feel, is too long for my body. And there are a lot of things that are, aren't very practical about it. But I don't know, I guess when you're with girls, 
on a trip, the spur of a moment thing, and everyone's telling me, ma ROI mo yan. You can Instagram that bag. Cute just a flat lay. And that makes us happy when we were there. So I was like, you know what? These girls know what they're talking about. They have so many bags. I should trust them. Wrong. Sometimes you don't listen to your friends. Sometimes you listen to your heart. <laughs> Dito lagi. Eh. I only used it in that trip and maybe two or three times after. Sayang because it's so cute, but it's just not practical, especially now that I'm a tita. And dami kong kailangan dalhin on a day to day basis. I have house keys, I have car keys, I have my cell phone, I have two different wallets. Wallet for my money and wallet for all my discount cards. You know how it is when you're a tita? I have my grocery list, I have what? I have my rose water. How is it gonna fit here? It's so small. And you know me, I love small bags. Small bags isn't an issue. I have so many small bags always. But it's just for some reason, this one isn't practical at all. And I really think it's because the strap is just so long. And because it's a chain strap, there's really nothing I can do about it. Like, I can't tie it up, you know? Sometimes it's cute if you just tie it up and there's a knot on your bag. I can't do that. Even if I do crossbody style, it's still so long. There's no other way to bring it. If you sling it, it reaches all the way down to my butt. And if I hold it here, it's so... Who? Who? It's so small. How? Wala. Wala siyang use sa buhay ko. Sorry, unfortunately. I'm so sorry, Chanel. I still love you. But I just really wish that I saved the money that I used to purchase this bag and maybe like went to Europe one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Masha. And I really regret it. Okay, moving on. We're done with the bags and now we are going to talk about shoes. And I'm looking at these shoes now and I'm kind of embarrassed to show you because they all look the same. I guess you can say that I have a type or I have a style. So, ugh. the first shoe that I regret are these Cassidy Nude Pumps. When I was buying these shoes, I thought to myself, you know what, it's okay to invest in designer nude pumps because they're nude pumps and you can wear them with absolutely everything and until you die, fashion pa rin siya because they're classic. Nude patent pumps, right? Wrong, because I only wore this once or twice and look, there are black things on, on, on the sides and I don't know why that is so, right? I really don't get it. And number two, they're so incredibly painful. I mean, look at this heel. It's like I can stab someone with it. Somebody wants to steal my bag? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> like, it's just, it's ridiculous. They're like knives. And you know how when you look at shoes, you can already imagine how comfortable they are or how painful they are? When I saw these shoes, I already knew that they would kill my feet. And I kid you not, after five seconds wearing them, my feet are absolutely dead. So every time I wear these, which is like two or three times pa lang, I always have spare belly flats at the side. And I always end up changing because they're just so painful. So Cassidy, you have really amazing, beautiful shoes, but comfort-wise, no, I, I regret you, sorry. And my next shoe that I absolutely regret buying, and I just wish I saved my money on this, is in the exact same style. <laughs> Except these are from Christian Louboutin, and as you can see, I've already tried to make it more comfortable, but it's just not comfortable. I think these are the Pigals, if I'm not mistaken. And I bought these in conjunction with the, I don't know what they're called, but they're the ones with the platform and they're pito. And those were super comfortable. It's just that these are a lot sexier. And I don't know if you guys can tell the difference between what makes this shoe look a little bit sexier. This one I thought looked so sexy because they give you a little bit of a toe cleavage here. So you can see the line from your toe here and I feel that that's so sexy. It's also very sleek because it comes in a pointy toe and it doesn't have a platform. So when you're wearing it, it kind of just elongates your leg and disappears it doesn't take attention away from your outfit at all it's absolutely stunning don't get me wrong it's just again super duper 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 painful and even though I really want to wear this like I always think to myself I'll just wear this when I go out on dates with Slater and I don't have to walk at all I just get out of the car and go to the restaurant and sit down and then go back out but that never happens guys when does it ever happen when you don't walk you always walk and even walking to the bathroom hurts in these babies so Honestly, I've never even worn them. Look how clean they are. I've never worn them. They're just a display piece. And I honestly wish I just stuck to the comfy shoe, again from Lubes. Those I wore like time and time again, but this ones I don't think will ever see the light of day. So honestly, I do regret this pair as well. And my last regrettable purchase for this video is yet another shoe pair. And 
It is a combination of the two shoes that I just showed you. They are in the same style, they are pumps, but they also have these daggers at the back for heels and they don't offer much support when you wear them. These ones are from Sergio Rossi and also I've only worn them once, so as you can see, it's not dirty at all. The reason why I don't like these is because they are very, very loose on my feet and so every time I try to walk in them, my foot pops out <laughs> and then it's just so awkward and I look like a weirdo. I actually bought this on one of my first dates with Slater, which is really funny because I bought these and I feel like he was pressured to purchase something as well, which is kind of stupid when you think about it, but it is true. He purchased the Creed perfume and he's allergic to fragrance, so <laughs> I feel like we were just trying to, you know, show off to one another. I don't know. I don't know why. It's so weird. It's such a regrettable piece. It is beautiful, but I haven't really worn them. And it just goes to show that no matter how beautiful a shoe is, if it hurts, my friends, it's not worth it. I hope it helps you when you're trying to decide what designer item you want to buy. Number one, my lesson is definitely don't go for something that's not comfortable, especially when it is shoes. Don't go for a size that is too big or too small. I have tried also in the past where I really like the design and I've been searching for it everywhere, but I just couldn't find it in my size. And so I forced the issue and bought it in a size that's too big or in a size that's too small. Trust me, it's not worth it. You will end up not wearing it at all. So if you can't find the most comfortable design for your shoe, I urge you not to buy it at all. It's not worth it. And when it comes to bags, don't be peer pressured. There are a lot of bags out there in the market that are so, so, so beautiful and worth your money. So if you are rushing or you're not quite sure, or if you haven't seen the bag firsthand, then I urge you not to buy it because these ones I haven't even used at all. All right, guys, I hope that you found that video useful. If you did, then please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think about this video and what you think about these items that I bought. And if you haven't subscribed to my family, then I hope you do. And I will see you guys in